ओके सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन फ्रॉम एच सी वर्मा बोर्स मॉडल ओके वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यर बालमा सीरीज सो बालमा सीरीज मीन्स फाइनल इज एन इक्वल टू टू सो फर्स्ट लाइन मीन्स थ्री टू टू सेकेंड लाइन मीन्स फोर टू टू थर्ड लाइन मीन्स फाइव टू टू सो ईच टाइम एन इंक्रीजेस बाई वन लाइक थ्री टू टू फोर टू टू फाइव टू टू सिक्स टू टू सेवन टू टू लाइक दैट विच मीन द इनिशियल स्टेट इज इंक्रीजिंग बाई वन बट द थिंग इज द एनर्जी लेवल्स स्पेशली द हायर एनर्जी लेवल्स आर वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर एंड एज वी गो टू हायर एंड हायर एनर्जी लेवल्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एनर्जी किप्स रिड्यूसिंग एंड सो दिस एन एथ एनर्जी लेवल एंड द एन प्लस वन एथ एनर्जी लेवल विल हैव देयर एनर्जी इज वेरी क्लोज सो वेदर द इलेक्ट्रॉन कम्स फ्रॉम एन टू एन इक्वल टू टू और वेदर इट कम्स फ्रॉम एन प्लस वन टू एन इक्वल टू टू the difference in the wavelength keeps reducing as we keep on going from higher ends to n equal to 2 and because this difference in lambda keeps uh, decreasing this delta lambda by lambda keeps reducing because uh, this <coughs> lambda is given by this formula and whether you substitute here n or you substitute here n plus 1 makes a little difference only okay so as we keep on increasing n the difference in the lambda that we observe when the electron comes from n to 2 or n plus 1 to 2 the difference in the lambda between these two transitions keeps reducing until a time comes when delta lambda has become so small that lambda by delta lambda is almost like 8000 and according to the question when this happens the delta lambda is so small that it becomes almost impossible for practically to distinguish between those two different lambdas and we have to find for what transition it starts to happen the that the lambdas become too close for the consecutive transitions like n to 2 or n plus 1 to 2 the difference in the lambdas are so small that we are not able to figure out that there are two different lines and there is only one single lambda that is what we observe now because the energies of n and n plus 1 are so close the lambda values are on also so close so what we can do is we can differentiate it it is as as good as a continuous distribution of lambda okay so differentiating both the sides here r is the redbug constant capital r and so we get this now what does this tell us this tell us what is the change in lambda because of change in n which means when initially we had n there was lambda n so electron was coming from n to 2 but now it is coming from n plus 1 to 2 so lambda has also become lambda n plus 1 so lambda has changed how much is the change in lambda because of how much change in n that is related by this now change in n is 1 because previously the electron was coming from n to 2 now it is coming from n plus 1 to 2 so the change in n is 1 and because of this one change in n which means dn is 1 there is a change in lambda d lambda now d lambda by lambda means like you have to transfer one lambda on the other side we get like this so oh, there is a minus sign also let's forget the minus sign as of now ha huh. so if we take the reciprocal we get this and uh, <clears throat> what is this one by lambda you can see here that there is a one by lambda here the one by lambda is again the same thing so which is this now the thing is this thing is happening at a very high value of n so for very high value of n n cube term will be dominating over the linear term so we can ignore this so n cube should be less than 64000 or n should be less than equal to 40 so which means all the way up to 40th n the lambdas will be still deciphered or figured out to be different like 39 to 2 40 to 2 that lambda can be still figured out to be different but when electron goes from 40 to 2 or 41 to 2 then the two energies or transition are so close two lambdas are so close that we are not able to figure out that these are two different lambda because d lambda the difference in lambda because between 40 to 2 and 41 to 2 has become so small that uh lambda by d lambda has become very high uh, all the way up to 8000 and when lambda by d lambda exceeds 8000 
then we are not able to figure out that there are two different lambdas. So for us to be able to figure out that there are two different lambdas according to the apparatus that we are using, it requires that lambda by d lambda should be less than or equal to 8000. That is what is given in the question.